sign of you loving Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is the yearning to go do ziyarah, visit him. That so much that you do not sit still if there's an opportunity for you to go and do ziyarah. To stand in front of him sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. To say your salam on him, to be in his hadra sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Huh? But then when you want to go, I don't, again, I always say that, do not be religious tourists who take mental pictures, even if without a camera. They stay and look at the arch, mashallah, great arch, mashallah, great pillars. If you're going there for the pillars and the arches, yeah, go ahead, take pictures. Huh? There are three kinds of people. They say there are people that watch things happen and people that make things happen. Don't be among those who watch things. Be among those that make things. But there is a third kind that don't know what happened. They go and they take mental pictures. And you're going there to take mental pictures. Or you're going there so you can sharpen your spirituality and abandon yourself. So you can be in that massive spiritual atmosphere, overwhelming Nurani environment that takes you from this materialism to spirituality and illumination and enlightenment. That you stand in front of the beloved sallallahu alayhi wa wasallam, knowing that he is pleased with you. He knows who you are and he returns your salam. Is pleased with you standing in front of him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When you say, Assalamu alayka ya Sayyidi ya Rasulullah, he knows he returns your salam, that he is pleased with you. You have done well, you have been a good person. I am pleased with you. Bring pleasure to the hearts of Rasulullah. When we help each other, when we serve his ummah, we bring pleasure to his heart, sallallahu alayhi when you are good and you give, you are giving. You bring pleasure. So let's try to do these things. It's not about talk, and I'll finish my talk here. It's more about action. What are we going to do today? Different than we've done yesterday. How positive are we going to be to in our family, with our friends, with our society, with our community, with our world? And when you do things, random acts of kindness. The, the hadith of Bukhari, the man was, gave the, a dog, a dog in the desert that was lost. The man went and gave him some water. Because he went all the way and he struggled to get the water for a thirsty dog, Allah forgave his sins and let him enter Jannah, paradise. Random acts of kindness. That's what Islam wants us to do. And when people ask you when you're doing these good things to Muslims and non-Muslims, you're always good. When they ask you, why are you doing this? Telling them, tell them, because you follow the message of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.